Assalamu alaikum, I'm Dr. El Muhammad from Egypt. Now we will solve Edexcel International GCSE Mathematics 2H November 2020 paper. Question 1a simplify g power 6 times g power 4. We will put g and then add the powers 6 plus 4 is 10. b simplify k power 10 divided by k power 3. We will put k and then subtract the powers. 10 minus 3 will be 7. C simplify 3 C D power 4 all to the power of 2. So we will distribute the power into all inside brackets 3 power 2 times C power 2 times D power 4 times 2. Right? So the final answer will be 9 C squared D power 8. Okay? D solve the inequality 4x plus 7 more than 2 so it will be 4x more than 2 minus 7 which is negative 5 and then x more than negative 5 divided by 4 and this is the final answer we can write x is larger than or more than negative 1.25 okay question 2 the table shows information about the length of time in minutes 120 customers spend in a supermarket okay first of all you must understand this table well this first this first row means that we have six customers spent more than 20 to less than or equal 30 minutes in the supermarket and so on for for all the rest of the values okay a write down the model class to get the model class, look at the most frequency here is 40. So the model class should be the class opposite to 40, which is which is this class, okay? So L capital, L capital here is more than 50 and less than or equal 60. This is the model class because it has most frequency customers, right? Okay, B, work out an estimate for the mean length of time spent by the 130 customers in the supermarket. Okay, to understand this, I want to clarify something. Here we have six customers spent from uh, more than 20 to less than or equal 30. We don't know each one of these six exactly how long he spent on the supermarket. And so that we will some we will make an assumption that all these six customers spent the average of this interval or we can say the midpoint which is 25 minutes and I prefer to do the following to write the midpoint here in this column okay and also write in the next column this midpoint multiplied by the frequency so I should put here 25 Okay, which, which is the average between 20 and 30 and you can get this value by adding 20 plus 30 and then divide by 2 or it's very clear that it's the midpoint between these two numbers here I will put 35 and from 40 to 50 we have 45 and then from 50 to 60 you have 55 and from 60 to 70 we have 65 okay and in this column, I want to multiply each midpoint with the corresponding frequency. So we can write here 25 times 6. It will be uh, 150. And so on. So we can get these results. And then I will get the sum of all x multiplied by f. And divide this by the sum of the frequency, which of course is 120, which is the total number of customers. Okay, The sum here will be... 5760 um, okay so that the mean will be 5760 5, divided by 120 which is 48 minutes okay question 3 the diagram shows a parallelogram ABCD and an isosceles triangle DEF this is the parallelogram and this is the ICS triangle. K 
okay um, work out the size of angle D E F D E F it's very very simple okay give a reason of your working okay first of all since we have two parallel lines here we can say that this angle is also 58 alternate angles okay and then this is an exterior angle of this triangle and so that angle E plus angle F is equal to 58 and they are equal so each one of them is 58 over 2 let's write this now so EDC is equal to DCB equals 58 degrees alternated angles for that BC the straight line is prior to 18 or line segments okay uh, EDC is an exterior angle of triangle EDF and so that angle E plus angle F is equal to 58 degrees also okay but they are equal in measure so angle E which is required is equal to 58 divided by 2 which is 29 okay 29 degrees okay it's a very simple question number four Andres, Isla and Paolo share some money and the ratio is 3 to 2 to 5 the total okay the total take care from total amount of money that Isla and Paolo receive is 76 pounds more than the amount of money that Andreas receives Andreas buys a video game for 48.15 pounds with some of his share of the, the money work out how much money Andreas has left from his share of the money when he has bought the video game okay we can put here A for Andreas and I for Isla and then P for Paolo and maybe the best way here is to write the exact values of these ratios to be 3x 2x and 5x okay and if we re read this sentence carefully the total amount of money that Island Paolo okay which is 2x and 5x receive is 76 pounds more than the amount of money that Andreas receives or in other words if we get the difference between what Paolo and Isla receives uh, minus what Andreas receive the difference will be 76 so I will write that this now okay 2x plus 5x this is the that Isla and Paolo received minus okay minus 3x which uh, Andreas receives equal 76 right by this way we can get x we have here 7x minus x 4x equal 76 and by this way we can get x to be 76 divided by 4 which is 19 pounds okay and then uh, Andreas buys a video game for 48.50 pounds and then the required is to get the rest of money okay which will be 3 multiplied by this 19 3 which uh, the share of Andrea okay 3 times 19 minus 48.50 okay and the answer will be 8.5 pounds okay Himari's annual salary is 3,130,000 Japanese yen she gets a salary increase of 4% work out Himari's salary after his increase okay if we look at this amount to represent 100% which is uh, 1 okay after increase after increase she will take 104% okay which is 1.04 so we can multiply this amount of money which is 3,130,000 multiplied by 1.04 to get the answer which will be 3,255,000 and 200 Japanese yen. Of course, you have another. We have another method, which is calculating the increase itself, four percent of this amount, and then add the result to this amount. But maybe this is uh, straightforward. Okay. Kato bought a car. The value of the car when Kato bought it was 750,000 Japanese yen. 
At the end of each year, the value of his car had depreciated by 15%. Work out the value of Kate car's car at the end of three years. Give your answer correct to do the nearest Japanese yen. Okay, of course, we can uh, use the formula which is said that we can write the start number which is 7500, sorry, uh, 750,000. Okay, multiplied by, we can call the principal 1 minus, minus because we have depreciated now, okay, 15% uh, which is 0 0.15, or the power of 3 which is the time, okay. And this will be 460,553.75 and required to approximate this to the nearest Japanese yen, so this 3 will be 4, right? So the final answer will be 460,594, okay? 6. The line L is shown on the, on the grid. Find an equation for L. Okay, it's very easy. We can use um, the y-intercept form, the y-intercept point here, which is minus two, and we can get the gradient. So we can write the following: we can write y equal m x plus c, and here c is negative two. C here is negative two, and to get the gradient m, we can use this point also and start to take a clear point to the right of it, which is that point, okay? And then I will ask myself a very simple question. How many steps should I raise up and then go uh, through a run to reach this point? So I must go up one, two, three units and just one unit to the right. So the gradient should be rise over run, which is three over one, which is three. So the equation will be y equal y equal 3x minus 2. I think this is the easiest way to get the equation. We have another method. We can get this point, which is 0 and minus 2. And also we can get this point, which is 1 and 1. And use these two points to, to get the equation of the straight line. Okay, But also this is a very simple way and you can write the answer here y equal 3x minus 2 right number seven the diagram shows a right angle triangle calculate the value of x give your answer correct to one decimal place it's a very simple question we can say that x equals uh, what are the type of sides that we know we have the adjacent and the opposite of the angle so we can use tan of course so x equals 10 inverse the opposite which is 3.4 divided by 4.7 and the answer after approximation will be 35.9 degrees okay question 8 the diagram shows an isosceles triangle work out the area of the triangle well, we have many methods okay we can say the area is half pace times height and the height here will bisect the pace to be 4 cm and 4 cm okay but the required now is to get the height so if we call this h we can say h equals square root of the hypotenuse squared which is 8.5 okay squared minus uh, 4 squared okay and then the area would be the area would be half times base which is four half the base is four times height which is h and the final answer would be 30 squared centimeter question nine the diagram shows a solid cylinder with radius three meter okay the volume of the cylinder is 72 pi cube meter Calculate the total surface area of the cylinder. Give your answer to co correct to three significant figures. Okay, it's a really easy piece of cake. From the volume, we can get the height because we need the height in calculating the surface area, right? So starting with this volume, we can write pi r square h is equal to 72 pi. And by canceling, canceling pi from both sides, 
and substituting r with 3 3 squared is 9 so 9 h is 72 which means that h is equal 72 over 9 which is 8 okay and then total surface area will be um, 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared this is the curved surface area and this is the sum of area of two bases okay and after substituting we can write here 2 pi is a common factor and we have here r h r is 3 times h would be 3 times 8 24 plus r squared which is 9 and the answer correct to three significant figures will be 207 okay meter squared question 10 the table shows information about the number of minutes each of 120 passes was late last Monday as I said before at least I want you to understand the first row okay which means we have 10 passes uh, this duration of late was more than zero and less than or equal 10 and the same for all the rest of values okay a complete the cumulative frequency table below for the first row here of course we will repeat the same number here 10 because this is the number of passes was late more than zero less than or equal 10 but the second row here more than zero also less than or equal 20 so the new number here will be 16 and include also the previous 10 so it will be 26 and as you know each time i will add the previous number so 26 to uh, 44 it will be 70 and then 70 plus 29 which is 99 okay and then 99 plus 15 114 plus 6 will be 120 which is the total number of passes okay B on the grid draw a cumulative frequency graph for your table okay as we see here the end of each class is 10 20 30 and so on and the first cumulative number is 10 and then 26 okay before starting we should know well what the scale of the vertical axis we have here 20 and so that this is 10 and this is only five small boxes so each small box will represent two okay two four and so on um after uh, 10 here we have 10 also 10 and 10 we can make something like this okay and then 20 with 26 26 means this is 20 right 22 24 26 is here and then 30 with 70 okay 40 is with 99 which is here okay here and then 50 with 114 this is 100 110 and then 112 114 and here and 460 with 120 okay after that we will join these points by a uh, line segments okay okay see use your graph to find an estimate for the in in interquartile range okay so we will get the first quartile and the third quartile and difference okay since we have 120 so divide by 4 it will be 30 from 30 we look at this vertex this horizontal line like this okay it is um the scale of the horizontal axis is um 10 here 10 corresponding to 10 small boxes which means that each small box represents one unit okay so this this point here will represent uh 21 so the first quartile is 20 21 this is q1 and uh, subtract 120 minus 30 which is 90 or we can say 3 over 4 times 120 it will be 90 90 here here it will be I think here 35 36 37 this is 
this is the 90k and this point will be 37 okay this is q 37 minus 21 16 minutes d use your graph to find an estimate for the number of the of buses that were more than 48 minutes late last monday 48 minutes okay okay this is 50 and this is 49 48 this line here 48 so um this is 50 again 49 48 maybe for this point here this is 110 110 and one i think 111 okay this corresponds to 111 here the required is to calculate uh, the buses which are late more than 48 minutes so these are the required number of buses which is 120 minus 111 so the answer is nine buses okay 120 minus 111 nine buses, okay 11 a simplify fully 8 e to the power of 15 all to the power of 2 over 3 which means 8 to the power of 2 over 3 multiplied by e to the power of 15 times 2 over 3 okay this is the cubic root of 8 is 2 to power 2 is 4 and here 15 over 3 is 5 times 2 to will be 10 5 4 e to the power of 10 okay b express y over 2 all power negative 4 in the form a y power n okay we would distribute the power to be y to the power of negative 4 divided by 2 to the power of negative 4 or we can say 2 power 4 and the numerator it will be 2 power 4 and then y power negative 4 so it will be 16 y power negative 4 okay as the question ask a y power n okay c solve 4x minus 2 divided by 3 minus 5 minus 3x divided by 4 equals 6 okay i prefer to multiply first with 12 which is the lowest common multiple of 3 and 4 multiplied by 12 for all terms okay 12 over 3 will be 4 I will expand 4 on this bracket to be 16x minus 8 and then multiplying the second fraction by 12 will simplify 12 over 4 to be 3 and then expand this 3 on that on this bracket to be minus 15 and then minus 9x don't forget that we have negative sign here equals 12 times 6 which is 72 okay and then it will be 16x minus 8 minus 15 plus 9x equals 72 collect x together to be 25x equals <clears throat> 72 plus 8 will be 90 will be sorry 80 plus 15 it will be 95 and finally x will be 95 divided by 25 and after simplifying it will be 19 over 5 or we can write uh, 3.8 okay Number 12, given that 3 power x over 9 power 3x equals 81, find the value of x. Okay, uh, of course, first we will convert all these numbers to be written in the form 3 power something. Okay, 3 power something. So we have here 3 power x already, and here I can rewrite 9 as 3 power 2. This 3 power 2 has an, a new power, another power, which is 3x. So I should multiply both powers to be 3 to the power of 2 times 3x, which is 6x, okay? Equals 81, which is a 9 squared or 3 power 4, okay? 
we can simplify the left hand side to be 3 to the power of x minus 6x subtracting the power to be minus 5x and here we have also 3 power 4 since base equal base then power equal power minus 5x equals 4 which means that x equals negative 4 over 5 negative 4 over 5 or negative 0 0.8 okay 13 use algebra to show that 0 0.681 recurring decimal is equal to 15 over 22 okay first of all i will expand this 0 0.6 and repeat 81 81 81 and so on and i will call this x okay after that i will multiply this by 10 if i multiply it by 10 it will be 6 point eight one eight one so on. our target now is to get the same digits after decimal so if i multiply by another 10 to be 100 x i will move the decimal just one place to the right and i will start with one after that so we prefer to multiply by 100 100 times 10 x will be 1000 right 1000 x equals and i will move the decimal point two places to the right to be 681 point also 81 81 and so on and if i subtract this you know one and this is two i would say equation two minus one to get 1000 x minus 10 x which is 990 x equals all the decimals now will be cancelled together and I will have 681 minus 6 which is 675 so x should be 675 divided by 990 okay which can be simplified 15 over 22 as the question set okay 14 then the first set enters x such that x more than or equal 10 less than or equal 25 a equals x such that x less than 18 b equals set of x such that x more than or equal 13 less than 22 a write down number of set number of elements of set a okay i a starts from 10 itself till 17 till 17 not 18 so from 10 to 17 we have eight elements don't forget that i will count 10 itself okay b list the members of the set a union b all complement all dash okay uh, a include the elements starting from 10 to 17 and b include elements starting from 13 to 21 okay so the out of their union will be set of 20 2 itself set of 22 and then 23 24 25 okay finally c list of the members of the set a dash the section b which means b and not a b and not a or something like the difference okay b and not a i will in, i will exclude all the intersection so i will start from 18 18 okay the answer should be 18 till 21 18 till 21 okay 18 19 20 21 and then if c subset of a c subset of b and number of c equals 5 list the members of the set c this means that all elements of c must be in a and also must be in b which means that in their intersection so i will write their intersection maybe i will start from 13 and then 14 15 16 and 17 they are really five members okay 15 make x the subject of y equals 5 minus 2x over x plus 3 first of all i will multiply 
cross multiplication y times x plus 3 and expand it will be x y plus 3 y equals 5 minus 2 x right and then collect x together we will have x y plus 2 x equals 5 minus 3 y take x as a common factor I will have here y plus 2 or 2 plus y okay equals 5 minus 3 y and finally I will divide 5 minus 3 y over 2 plus y okay so here x will be 5 minus 3 y over 2 plus y okay 16 solve the simultaneous equations okay okay from the second equation you can see that x equals uh, 1 plus 2 y okay and in the first one I can write 3 times x multiplied by y or I can write it 3 y times 1 plus 2 y okay minus y squared equals 8 expanding 3 y here 3y times 1, 3y, plus 3y times 2y, plus 6y squared minus y squared equals 8. Rearrange and um, collect all terms on the left hand side. 6y squared minus y squared, we have 5y squared, and then plus 3y minus 8 equals 0. Okay, it will be 5y here and y here minus 8 can be 8 times 1 to make difference 3 right 8 here and 1 here then I write 8y 8, 8 here I mean and this is a nice 8y minus 5y plus the 3y okay equals 0 so y may be minus 8 over 5 or y equals 1 and in each case we should get the corresponding value of x don't forget that x is 1 plus 2y so double it and add 1 the double of this is minus 16 over 5 so x equal 1 minus 16 over 5 which is minus 11 over 5 and here for y equal 1, double it to be 2 and add 1 to be 3. These are the results and we should write them in the uh, suitable place here, okay? 17, the diagram shows a rectangle, okay? The area of the rectangle is A capital square centimeter. Given that A is than 3x plus 27, find the range of possible values for x. It's a very interesting question. Okay. The area here is the the product of these two dimensions which means 2x minus 4 multiplied by 3x plus 2 right this expression less than 3x plus 27 okay expanding 6x squared we have minus 12x plus 4x it will be minus 8x minus 8 okay less than 3x plus 27 and then it will be 6x squared minus 8x minus 3x to be minus 11x minus 8 minus 27 to be minus 35 less than 0 okay to be 2x here and 3x here uh, we can put 7 and here 5 minus here and plus here okay equal oh sorry less than 0 right okay on the number line we can say that or on x axis we can say that the roots here are negative 5 or 3 and 7 over 2 and the coefficient of x squared is positive so this graph represents parabola or curve like this 
which is open upward smile face as you said right but of course x can't be negative right because x here um, means a, a length so maybe more than zero or we can check or if x equals zero this dimension be negative four so x should be more than two why two because this value will make this dimension positive two times two four four minus four zero so x should be more than two and less than seven over two which is three point five so the range of possible values of x will be more than two and less than three point five okay it's a very interesting question 18 the diagram shows cuboid a b c d e f g h as we see here a b is 5 h is 4 the size of angle between c h c h and the plane a b c d is 35 degrees okay so this angle is 35 calculate the volume and correct three cm figures okay we can't calculate the volume without calculating the bc the uh, length okay so by using this angle we can say that tan 35 tan 35 equals of course we have we have here a right angle triangle so tan 35 equals 4 over ac 4 over ac okay which means that ac is 4 over 10 35 we can switch between them okay 4 over 10 35 and then how we can get bc we can apply pythagoras theorem right because this is a right angle triangle here we can say that bc is equal to square root of the hypotenuse squared which is ac squared minus what minus 5 squared minus 25 Okay, and then finally the volume will be the volume will be 4 times 5 4 times 5 times BC okay and after calculating we can get the result to be I prefer to make your calculations as a last step okay to avoid approximating and then approximating and then approximating and so that maybe the final answer will go away okay so um, finally we have after approximating we have 55.3 okay so the answer is 55.3 centimeter cubed right 19 OAB is a triangle OA vector equals a small vector OB vector is equal to b small vector the point C lies in OA such that OC to CA is 1 to 2 and d on ob such that od to db equals 1 to 2 using vector method prove that abdc is a trapezium okay and you want to do also okay and join between ad abdc if we prove that ab is parallel to cd this will show that this this quadrilateral is trapezium okay so how we can show that AB is parallel to CD? This can be done by three stages. Okay. First, try to get AB in terms of A small and B small vectors. And then do the same with CD vector. And the third stage is to get the relation between the results that we calculated before. Okay, first stage again, AB vector in terms of A and B. This is A of course, A small, and this is B small vector okay so a b of course is negative a plus b i should move from a to o and then from o to b it will be negative a plus b or we can say b minus a right and call this number one and then what about cd to get cd vector okay i write c o plus o d what is CO? CO is um, in this direction to care. It will be negative 1 over 3 of OA or of A small vector, right? Negative 1 over 3 of A vector. And OD means plus 1 over 3 of B vector, which can be written as 1 third and then B vector minus a vector right call this number two 
third stage is to compare between one and two and it's very clear that from one and two we can write c d vector to be one third of what of a b vector which means that they are parallel which shows that c d is parallel to a b which means that this shape is trapezium is a trapezium okay Question 20. A bag contains X capital counters. There are only red counters and blue counters in the bag. Okay. We don't have any other color. Red and blue. Okay. There are four more blue counters than red counters. Okay. The difference between the blue and the red are four. Fenty takes at random two counters from the bag. The probability that Fenty takes two blue counters from the bag is 3 over 8 to blue okay walk the value of x it's a very very beautiful question okay we can say um, b plus r equal x capital right b is the number of blue counters and r is the number of red counters their sum is x also their difference b minus r is 4 right if we get the sum here, if we add these two equations, we can get 2b equals x, my, x plus 4, right? x plus 4, which means that uh, 2b minus 4 equals x cat, right? Okay, the probability of getting the first blue is b over x. b is the number of blue counters so the probability of the first to be blue is b over x multiplied by the second to be blue is b minus 1 over x minus 1 and the result should be 3 over 8 and then now i will replace x with its value with b here so b over 2b minus 4 multiplied by b minus 1 multiplied by 2b minus 5 okay equals 3 over 8 and this is so we have 8b multiplied by b minus 1 uh, equals 3 times we can take 2 confactor from here and then 2 times 3 is 6 but we have here b minus 2 b minus 2 and here 2b minus 5 and then expand now 8b squared minus 8b equals b times 2b 2b squared times 6 to be 12b squared and then we have minus 4b minus 5b minus 9b times 6 okay minus 54b and then i have here 10 times 6 to be plus 60 right collect uh, like terms we have 12 b squared minus 8 b squared we have 4 b squared and then negative 54 plus 8 it will be minus 46 uh, b plus 60 equals 0 dividing by 2 we have 2 b squared minus 23 b plus 30 equals 0 and by factorizing we can get 2b here and b here equals 0 uh, 3 and 10 i think here uh, we have minus 20 minus here and minus here of course um, b equals 3 over 2 is rejected b equal 3 over 2 rejected okay so we can say that b equal 10 if b equals 10 uh, r will be 6 right because the difference is 4 b equals 10 r equals 6 and x will be uh, 10 plus 6 which is 16 it's a very interesting question okay x will be 16 counters okay 
Last question, the function f is such that f of x is equal to 5 plus 6, x minus x squared, x is now equal to 3, x plus, uh, four on the, okay, the required is to complete the square, right? P and q are constant. Uh, take care that the coefficient of x squared is negative, okay? So first of all, I will take negative as a common factor between these two terms, right? And then I will write x squared minus 6x. I uh, reverse the sign, okay? Plus 5 is uh, kept out, right? And then I write minus, open the bracket, and then complete the square here. I will take x and then minus half the coefficient, 3, all squared, and then minus 9, the square of 3, close the big bracket, and then plus 5, expand the negative now, so it will be negative x minus 3 all squared plus 9 negative negative and then plus 5 so finally we can write 5 plus 9 14 minus x minus 3 all squared right b using your answer to part a find the range of values of x for which f inverse x is positive so first of all, we should get f inverse, right? So let y equals 14 minus x minus 3 all squared. And the required now is to make x subject, okay? So I will write x minus 3 all squared equals 14 minus y. And then take the square root, x minus 3 should be... Um, positive or negative square root of 14 minus y but don't forget that x should be more than or equal to 3 right uh, sorry less than or equal to 3 which means that x less than 3 uh, 2 1 1 something like this so this this part should be negative and so I will take negative root here since x less than or equal to 3 right so I will say x minus 3 equal negative square root of 14 minus y which means that x equal 3 minus square root of 14 minus y now x change between y and x so y equals um, y equals 3 minus square root of 14 minus x sometimes uh, this step some teachers write this step first huh? so they exchange x and y and then make y subject it will be the same finally we can say that if inverse of x is equal to 3 minus square root of 14 minus x now we want to get uh, a positive f inverse so f inverse of x is positive when this expression is positive which means that 3 is 3 minus the square root more than 0 or we can say 3 more than square root of 14 minus x squaring both sides we have here 9 and here 14 minus x without square root and move x to be here and move 9 to the negative here 14 minus 9 is 5 so x should be more than 5 till what till um, take care that this expression should be positive square root of 14 14 minus x should be positive or or 0 right 14 minus x should be positive or 0 which means that x less than or equal 14 right so our range will be in between uh, more than 5 and less than or equal 14 x here should be more than 5 and less than or equal 14 okay thank you and goodbye